the Santana. Um, if you haven't watched it, there's a previous video for the Santana, but it was uh, measuring too long. It's supposed to be 2.45 gigahertz, and it's measuring around 2.6 gigahertz. So it definitely needs some electrical length added to it. So I thought I would give that a try. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's supposed to be this 2.45. This is where the marker is, and you can see that it's uh, uh, long in frequency or short in frequency, however you want to say it. Uh, two point, so it, the dip there is about 2.6. So the first thing I did was try to lengthen the uh, the radiator, the dipole that's part of the AG antenna. So I've put a little bit of extra length over here using copper tape and a little bit on the back. And so now we have a longer dipole. And there we go. It, it has uh, broadened it up a bit and moved it over. I think it did broaden it up. Anyway, it did, definitely moved it over. Uh, definitely moved it over in the right direction. And uh, the radiators looked way too short on the original design. Um, and so uh, I tried lengthening at least the first reflector there a little bit. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's looking uh, sp spot on now. Um, so obviously, you know, YAG antennas are designed for gain. You have to look at the lobes. You have to do far field radiation pattern measurements and all that kind of stuff. But I think uh, uh, if you have access to a CAD program, should be able to design an antenna correctly the first time around. Um, I might try to do that in the future, but uh, I just thought I would play with this one. I didn't do any calculations. I didn't do, do any CAD work. I just eyeballed a little bit of extra electrical length and, uh, and uh, <laughs> got lucky.